Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Dave, DLC Dave, and welcome back to Rise of the Phoenix. We're on to episode 32, the 32nd chapter. And we are facing Wickham Wanderers today, as you can see on the screen. We are somewhere into the season now, we're into the, towards the end of November. I'll, have a look, I'll go through now how the games have been going since that 2-1 victory against Gillingham. So as you can see, we've played a, a, a large number of games, mostly in the league, also in the FA Cup, and one in the Checker Trade Trophy. Uh, we've won pretty much all of them. We've had one draw away at Charlton in the league. Obviously, they're not a bad team. Obviously, they're, you know, they're quite a big, big club to be in League 2. But I think on, on the whole, we probably should have, we should have won the game, but we, we couldn't quite get the breakthrough. So a lot of them were very tight. I would say that a lot of these games are very tight, won by the odd goal where we sneaked it. Now we 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 we, we just really we just really coming out at the end out of the other side of some incredible incredible amount of injuries that we've had, and really it all came into come to a head for this Tottenham game. Now we won somehow, so as you can see the team we started. Cal King, Matthew Green, Luke Peacock at centre back, Daniel Hardy. You, you don't know who he is. I don't know who he is. He's not. He's, he's not a real person. Obviously, none of them are real. But he's not even. He's not even a, a professional player with a nice team. Espinosa to play, thankfully. Afori, Perry Jaswell, another name I've heard of. Someone who actually is real. Is real and is is kind of in the in the squad ish. But but he should not be playing games for us. Not at this time, at this stage. Weaver Smith played, thankfully. Wilson and Skinner, and those basically those players, well, Skinner just just had enough, really. But the amount of players we had, we had injured. I mean, look at the bench. There's nothing on there. There's Adam Kane, and that was it. And it was just simply just it's it, it's it's been absurd to be honest. The amount of injuries we've had. Luckily, Alan Skinner has been pretty much the one consistent player throughout. You can see he's he's had he's had, he's had pretty much a good 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 run of goals and he has kept us going really uh, we are now as you can see we are now pretty much at, at the other end of it although we still have three players out we had um phillips out for, for well two months basically so he's going to get back till january denison well even monga a fractured skull terrible injury for any anyone to pick up really 18 years old, he's, you know, he's gonna be, he's gonna either be back in February, perhaps might even be that might take even that much longer. You can see Sinton is just recovering from an injury. You can tell by his match sharpness. Beachy likewise. Uh, Bogey is just just about recovering, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk him for this game to start from the start. And yeah, it's been a it's been a it's been a tough time. The results have sugarcoated it really. We've not been well. We we we've not had a chance of being that good, to be fair, but. Fortunately, well not fortunately, the quality of the team just about has shown through enough games. You know, we could have easily come out of these games with three draws or four draws. Yeah, we could have not not produced basically. And thankfully we have when it when it when it mattered. So all those results leave us looking very good at the top of the table. We're ten points clear of Blackpool in second place, fourteen points clear of Wickham, who we play today. So there should be a a, a decent test for us. Yeah, yeah one of the better teams in the league for sure and i think without further ado we're going to get into the game okay guys so the team we're going to go with today is bradford in goal hutchins gale johnson espinosa at the back obviously denison's out for a good while so jimmy gale will get a chance in that center back position we then have a Fori and sinton in midfield weaver beachy smith in behind alan skinner so we're looking pretty decent now in uh it, well, in all areas, really, the team is is largely where I'd like it to be. Looking at their team, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's anyone there I recognise. No, not even on the not even on the bench. Scott Laird, me? Is that Scott Laird? Okay, that's somebody who I've, I've heard the name of once or twice. Other than that, nah. So it's gonna be, it's not gonna be an easy game for sure. They are, as I say, one of the better teams in this league. But I have every faith that we can we can win this game. It's a midweek game under the lights at the Phoenix Sports Ground, empty as always, and we uh, get into it. Let's do this. 
They're all shooting from right to left, using that wearing our usual all green home kit. Let's see how we get on. Right, we have a chance here, looks like. Espinosa has it. He finds Smith. He finds it by the back to him. Sinton puts forward to Beachy into Hutchins. Weaver has it on the right side, and Jay Weaver from a tight, tight angle, basically just, just smashed it at the keeper. And and Walton could not keep it out. And if you look at it now, Hutchins slides a nice ball through. Weaver made that run in behind the full back and just hit it. Poor goalkeeper, he didn't even hit it that hard. I, I was probably a bit generous to Weaver earlier when I first saw the goal. But yeah, not, not the best from their keeper. Corner here now. Smith takes it. It's cleared. We will pick it up though with Espinosa. He, uh, he plays it back to a four. We need to recycle it a bit now. Not the best bit of play there, just a bit of a hopeful hit forward, but he does fall back to us and a four he has it again. He finds Sinton. He needs to play it in field. He does and Weaver has it again. He pulls it across this time and Skinner hits the post. Very unlucky. It's a really nice uh, sort of disguised cutback there from uh, Jay Weaver and Skinner just could not quite get it under, under the, well, under the bar past the post really and there we have it it's half half time half, I almost said half past time it's half time half past time doesn't it doesn't doesn't exist half time it's been it's been a decent decent performance we've uh, obviously got that goal that we really wanted and yeah it's been we've had a couple of couple of half chances they haven't looked threatening whatsoever and we're going to go into it hopefully and get another hopefully get another one or two in the uh, second half. Okay, I suppose he picked up a, a knock, a thigh stream by the looks of it. We're going to bring on Adam Kane for him, and I'll take this opportunity now. I think to probably bring on one or two, one or two, one or two subs. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, I'm going to bring on Bogey. I'm going, to, I'm going to give him a, give him a go up top. I think he has, he has got the, the ability to play there. Um, I'm also, going to, actually, no, I'm not going to bring on Bogey up front. Scratch everything I've just said. I, I just don't trust the fact that it is the other card. So I'm going to bring him on for a fourie. And then later on, I will probably bring on Peacock for Sinton because he's, he's looking pretty tired. But we're into the last 20 now. The subs have been made. Right. 10 minutes to go. We're going to, we are going to make that change I mentioned with Peacock coming on for Sinton. We're going to put Bogey as slightly further forward. Midfielder, and hopefully, I'd like that to get another get another goal. To be honest, we it's been it's been a pretty uneventful game on the whole. In the second half, we haven't seen a highlight whatsoever, and we are going to see one right at the end. It looks like Kane has it. He plays it infield to Bogey, who not the best pass, but it comes back to Kane, who loses it out again. This would be a okay. I was gonna I was I was about to get a bit frustrated if. Uh, that led to a goal for them. It still may do, to be honest. Bimbichi brings it down though. And Hutchins finds Weaver, the danger man so far. And that doesn't look particularly bad foul, that. So I, I can't imagine that's a red card. I'd be, I'd be surprised. Nothing, nothing seems to happen. Yeah. So it looks like this uh, this chance is going to be hopefully from a free kick. And he hits the bar, Adam Kane. That's the second time we've hit the woodwork today. It was pretty central, the free kick though. So perhaps the keeper, if it was on target, would have got in there. But never mind, it looks like it's going to be a pretty pff, uneventful 1-0 win. Not the, best, not, not the most exciting games, but those kind of games you do have to win. And it's an example of the kind of games that we've been having, where teams are not particularly looking forward to come out and attack us too much, but they are, they are, their defence is good enough to, to hold back a fair amount. And so we are scraping through from time to time. Not always the case, in the last game we won 5-3 and I think we were 5-0 up in that, I was a bit worried for a stage, but however, generally it's, it's, it's been a very, very tight game most times. I suppose we're going to miss uh, well, 69 days. We've got some players who are a bit tired because they've had to play a lot of games due to the amount of injuries we've had. That's, some, that's something that we've had, probably the first time we've had this really, is that the squad is very stretched, very stretched. But I can't complain too much. We are we are getting through the games with wins. Um, 
and we're going to look to come back, I think, in a few weeks' time. Who is near us? So I know we've got Blackpool soon, but that's way too soon. It's Accrington. Yeah. Yeah. What we're going to do, we're going to do the Accrington game. Um, and hopefully, we'll also combine that with an FA Cup third round tie, which we'll call, which, will, which usually falls in that week. So, big episode then. We're also going to enter January, which is always a eventful time for us, not for all the wrong reasons, and that all our players asked to leave. We should. I would. I hope that the board will not <laughs> try and sell all of our players again, uh, as, as they had, did in the summer. We are very, very financially sound for a. Well, for a League Two club, having seven million in the bank is absurd, to be honest. But yeah, it's going. It's going well. I hope you are enjoying the the season and the series in general. If you are, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more, and follow me on Twitter, of course, at DLCDave1. Until next time, guys. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.